Hi, my name is Rebecca Kegler and I am with Girl Chasing Dreams Beauty Boutique and I am here today to share with you three curly hair tips. Most curly girls um, have natural curly hair, have struggled at some point in their life with how to tame the frizz, how to maintain their curls, the best product to use, and struggling with even getting a good haircut. So it is definitely something I think that could use more education and people with curly hair could um, use some help. And so I wanna share three tips that I have found have been very useful for me and hopefully they can be useful to you if you are a curly girl struggling with some different aspects of your curly hair. The first tip I would like to talk about is cotton. All of us go to bed every night and most of us sleep on a cotton pillowcase and curly hair has a lack of moisture because of the texture, because of the curls. We need a lot of extra moisture. I say that curly haired girls are very expensive because we have to put more in and we have to do a little bit extra steps that maybe somebody with straight hair, they don't always have to do that. So I wanna talk about cotton pillowcases first. So this is a little cotton ball and all of us have seen them and this is just has some water. So most of us know that when you put water and I poured some water onto it, when you pour water onto cotton, it went over in my hand. It has water in it, so if I squeeze it, you should see some water drip out, if you can see it on camera, see that? So you can see that it was holding water, but it didn't drip until I squeezed it. So we all know that cotton is an absorbent. It absorbs moisture, that's usually the job of it. So if we're going to bed on a cotton pillowcase, and we know the job of cotton is to absorb, that's half of our battle. Every night we're going to bed and the cotton pillowcase is absorbing the conditioners and the extra moisturizers we've paid to put in our hair. And as we sleep, we're getting more frizzy, our hair gets unruly, and especially if you wanna skip a day and not have to wash, you know, which is a really good thing, not to wash curly hair every day. I say I go like every three days because you're stripping moisture out that's not needed. So going to bed on a cotton pillowcase is defeating a lot of purposes of what we're putting in. So my first resolve for that is pretty simple. Get yourself a satin pillowcase or a silk pillowcase. I got this from Amazon. They can be ordered pretty inexpensively or you can go a really high quality grade and get them that are more costly but the satin and the silk are not as absorbent as a cotton pillowcase. So switch to a satin or silk. You will really thank me for that tip. The second cotton tip I would like to make is after you get out of the shower, putting all your good conditioners in and your moisturizers is wrapping your hair in a cotton towel. It is like defeating the purpose of the conditioner because your cotton towel is going to be absorbing and taking out of your hair a lot of what you just put in. I recommend a microfiber hair wrap. This can be got bought off of Amazon. Microfiber is not going to absorb at the level a cotton towel is. However, I will say I will put this in after a shower or washing my hair only for a minute or two just to absorb a lot of the dripping wet and then I comb it out. So I do not leave this in very long because we wanna maintain everything we put into our curls. So satin pillowcase, microfiber towel hair wrap, those two right alone are gonna be a big game changer and you'll notice a difference in your curls right there. Third is a high quality curly hair product. I use Loma, it is not over the counter. It is made in the US and Washington. One of the number one ingredients is aloe vera. So they are very natural. They don't have harsh chemicals in their product line. They're very, very moisturizing and the curly hairstyle you see I have achieved to date is from this product and this alone. I have used it for three to four years. They have essential oils. There's no um, harsh perfumes, dyes, nothing in it. And like I said, curly hair can be more expensive. So finding yourself good moisturizing products that really do the trick and being willing to go outside of over the counter and finding something that is quality over quantity is really gonna help you in your curly, curly hair journey. So today I talked with you about using satin pillowcases versus cotton using microfiber towel hair wraps instead of cotton towels and really looking for a curly hair cream that is adding moisture so you can really add more moisture in and your curls will get that soft moisturized curly look instead of a crunchy gel mousse look this is the kind of look you want to achieve and when your curls look like this you know they have the moisture that they need and so those three tips will really help you along your way 
to achieving soft, bouncy curls. I hope this helps, and I can't wait to talk to you guys again in the future. Have a great day.